Hi, Taurus, here with a general reading for the sign of Taurus. So this reading could apply to anyone who has Taurus strongly in their chart. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. It may only fit with a few of you. So um, let me go ahead and get shuffling. If you do not like the shuffling part, um, feel free to move forward in the video to where the reading begins. And there's usually somebody um, who will timestamp where where that is. All right. Um, okay, let's go ahead and look at what's happening now. What's happening now for Taurus? What is happening now for Taurus? What is happening now for Taurus? What is happening now for Taurus energy? What's happening now for this group of Taurus? Man. I'm going to pull out three energies here for you, Taurus. What's happening now for the sign of for this group of Tauruses? A little distracted. It's a little distracting energy here with the Seven of Cups. What's happening now with this group of Taurus? People, what's happening now? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups here. Knight of Cups here for Taurus. Knight of Cups with the Seven of Cups. Eight of Wands. Okay, Taurus. So I have done, now this is my fifth reading. And um, for the first time this week, I have an energy of love. Now, I'm not saying that this is romantic love. It is an energy of love. Right? There's all different kinds of love, but there is some new options here. We move from the Seven of Cups energy into the Eight of Wands energy. So there's some new kind of new energy of love coming in where you could have been confused for a while. Or you could be confused about this energy of love here, but no matter if you're confused or not, it's happening. Like there's communication taking place and you could be confused. You could have other options as well. Um, let's look at guidance for this upcoming future, next seven to ten days or the next couple of weeks. Remember, Taurus, we're all moving at, in different directions. We're all moving in different... What am I saying? I get, I, there's an energy of distraction here. I mean, if I've said the wrong sign in the last couple of minutes or if I'm... I mean, there is an energy of swirling and distraction here. I'm not doing this reading over. That's a real energy that I'm feeling. So um, there is new movement here. Whatever's happening, there could be options here for you, but there is love coming in and it is happening. And there's a lot of action taking place. So even though you might be confused and you might have options, you're certainly going into action in this current time. And this is around love of some kind here, Knight of Cups. Um, guidance, guidance for Taurus, please. Guidance for Taurus for the upcoming future. Guidance for Taurus for the, the chariot energy. Damn. Taurus, chariot energy here. Guidance. Guidance is the chariot energy, devil energy. Moving into fear. Moving into something new. Could be Capricorn here as well, but moving into something new. Moving into something that you've been scared of. Moving into something... Moving through, okay, let me, let me just, move. I can get caught up in that energy. This is power. This is very powerful energy, especially with the Eight of Wands. This is what we have here. This is exciting. This is, this is an exciting energy for me. This is like, ooh, this is an exciting energy that I have here, Taurus. It's exciting, but the devil energy is here. So there is an exciting powerful energy mixed with this like the unknown energies but it gets you going too Taurus it gets you going it wraps you up all right let's look at what's happening in the next seven to ten days or the next two weeks or whatever this energy wave is coming to you um, I think probably this is going to be in the next seven to ten days honestly because we have the eight of wands so um, and we have the chariot so I don't think this is going to drag on for longer than that for some of you it might for some of you who haven't reached this spot yet, it might, you know, but let's we'll see what's happening in the next seven to ten days for Taurus. Queen of Wands energy. What's happening in the next seven to ten days for Taurus? Five of Wands. Moving through some kind of conflict here, competition even. You're in a very beautiful place, Taurus. Taurus energy, what's happening in the next seven to ten days? What's happening in the next seven to ten days? Queen of Cups, Five of Cups, wow. I do a little different spread than I've done on the others. I 
Most of them that went flying, but not these two. Let's see which one comes out first here. Okay, so in the next seven to ten days, Taurus. All right, let's first of all let's let's not <laughs> let me like just ground myself a little bit. All right, so what what are the energies we have here? Oh, look at the star is on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to put that here, star, here, star energy here. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups with the Knight of Cups with the Eight of Wands. That's what's happening now. We have the Chariot energy, a Cancer energy with the Devil, a Capricornian energy. All right, we have the Queen of Wands. This is a feminine Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have the Queen of Cups. This is a feminine um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. All right. We have a major change coming in here. Major change. All right. So your current energy, let me confirm, let me clarify the Knight of Cups. Please help us understand what kind of love is this? What kind of love is this, please? What kind of love is this, please, Knight of Cups? What kind of love is this? Ten of, Ten of Pentacles. Damn. And Taurus, Sun, what the, what is going on? Queen of Pentacles, this is a moment of freaking victory. Sorry, I know I'm being dramatic. Well, the Queen of Pentacles is dramatic, okay? So, so let me be dramatic, okay? That's part of my ability here is to go into the energies. And this is a dramatic energy, okay? So this is big time, big time. Whatever's happening here, it fills your heart. It brings love into your life whether it's romantic love, whether it is um, new abundance, new comfort and security, a new home. We have the Ten of Pentacles with the Sun, with the Queen of Pentacles. All right, this is about some kind of job, perhaps, with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is um, somebody who implements, somebody who looks at the details, somebody who works with money or works with daily operations. She's a worker. She goes to work every day. She works hard. She could work longer than she should. Um, but she definitely makes things move forward. She is the wheel behind the economy, right? She she makes things happen. She's an administrator. She is um, the the detail oriented person that that continually pushes things forward, right? This is not a salesman kind of energy. This is not a go and create kind of energy. This is putting your your head to the grindstone. What I did something about that. What I just said. It's not right. Sometimes I feel like, what's that show, All in the Family? And the Archie, it's his name, Archie Bunker. You know, he'll say things sometimes that are, like, he uses the wrong words. Sometimes I feel like I just did that right then. But anyway, <clears throat> so um, <sighs> Queen of Pentacles, this could be about a job. This could be about money. This could be about your third dimensional life and and the improvements are coming and there's there's victory here there's when you have the sun okay i'm getting excited when you have the sun next to the ten of pentacles this is a victory this is money this is winning this is security this is abundance right here this is potential for prosperity this is powerful prosperity all right before you didn't know what was going on. You didn't know what to do. You didn't know what, how to do it. You didn't know what. And all of a sudden there's this new energy in your life that you absolutely loving, or it's a love energy, or you're loving this energy, or you are in love with life. All right. Again, it's something that you're doing because we have the eight of wands, action, communication, back and forth, doing this, doing that. You could, you know, this person has a lot of keys. A lot of different duties, a lot of different places to go, a lot of different options, a lot of different choices, and it feels good. All right. So there is a new, you're in a new situation and it's has a, there is an optimism here. There is a, um, a feeling of abundance here or an energy of a propensity towards prosper, prosper, prosperity, propensity towards prosperity. Sorry, just making fun of myself. But 
but that's how it feels here. And it's something with numbers, it's something with details, it's something about getting the work done and implementing every day and pushing forward every day. All right? That's the energy. The guidance is the chariot with the devil. All right, so if you're scared, if you're worried, if you have some worries about your self-confidence or if you can do this or not, the guidance is here to, to know how freaking strong you are. Let me go over to the right place. Look at this driver. This driver knows what he's doing and where he's going. And he's not getting um, distracted by the chaoticness that's happening around him, the stars that are around him, the crises that are around him, the big personalities that are around him. He's staying focused and moving forward, knowing exactly where he's going. Nothing will stop him, right? This is doing that into fear, into a situation where you don't know what's going to happen. It could be insecurity here. Maybe you don't feel like you, you have the capacities to do this. Maybe this is a Capricornian energy that you're moving into, hard work. Maybe this is a situation that could put you in a tempting kind of place. Maybe it's, you're going to go into a situation where there's temptation, where there is um, the shadow element. You could be going into a place where the shadow element is. You could be starting a career where you know that there could be elements of unhealthiness with the devil energy. It's, it's almost like you could be um, someone who has always struggled with alcohol and you could be getting a job that's very well-paying, very you know, um, a very lucrative position here that has to do with um, managing a bar or something. You know what I mean? That kind of an energy. But this is power. So I think for many of you, this is a fear, a fear of the unknown, worrying that you can't do what it takes, worrying that you don't have the capacities, but you do. You have all of the capacities to be successful here. The guidance is to move through move forward, open that door, step through that door. You have what it needs. You have what you need to be successful. You can do this. Step into the fear. Move forward very powerfully, very swiftly, very balanced. So your the guidance is to stay balanced, to make sure you're healthy, to make sure you're sleeping well, and to connect in with the divine. However you do that, exercise, meditation, however you do that, and to move into this because you will be successful. You can do this. Now, if it's destruction, if it's something that's unhealthy, something that you know in your heart of hearts that's not healthy for you, then this is not your story. All right? So if you are an alcoholic and you've been offered a job in a bar, then this might not be your story. Sorry, I went going back on my going back on my on my analogy. It may not be the story for you because the guidance is to go forward. And I don't think spirit would give guidance to go into a situation that can cause destruction. I don't think that. But somehow there is this fear here of entering into this doorway. But you have the sun here. And you have the ten of pentacles here. There could be a Capricorn. could be a Capricornian energy. I felt that in the beginning. This could just be hard work. And you know it's going to be hard work. You know it is. You know you might be working overtime. You know you might be um, focused in on, on one element of life and, and letting go of other elements. You know that. But for some reason, you know that this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a beautiful opportunity, and it has a sun. And so you're moving into it. The, the, the guidance is to move into it. I've never... Have you seen this before? I don't know if I've seen this combination before. If I have, it hasn't felt like this. Why is the devil energy here? Let's use this other deck. Why is the devil energy here, please? Why is the devil energy here for guidance? The world, it's a brand new. So what, what has happened to you before with work or with money? What has happened to you before is going to be different. This is a brand new experience for you. So walk into the fear. Step into the fear. You can do this. Could be travel, too. Could be travel. Ten of Swords. It's an ending to a long, um, a long, uncomfortable period of time. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning, and that might be really scary for you. But it's powerful, and it's beautiful. Step into it. Step into it, the guidance is. Not of its destruction, 
This is not your story. If this is a, the devil makes me a little nervous. Okay. It makes me a little nervous because there are some of you here that this could, I don't want to get, I don't, I don't want to cause destruction. So if this is a, if this is a situation that's truly destructive, then this is not the story for you. You will know in the heart of hearts, right? You will know in the heart of hearts, but this is an ending to a long, painful period of time. And you might have fear about stepping into it. You, your ego, your confidence might be really, really low right now. But look at these beautiful cards. Look at these beautiful energies that are here. Ten of Pentacles with the sun. Beautiful new beginning. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, powerful new beginning. Okay, I'm going to take these back. Okay, let's look at the future now. This is it for you, Taurus. There is a great change now in this energy. Um, you, you have been blocked for a while here with the Five of Wands. You have been blocked for a while. This has taught you, an, a, um, it's taught you some important lessons. <clears throat> it's taught you some important lessons. It's taught you of your strengths and of your weaknesses. In this period of time, you've really looked at your weaknesses. You really have. And you've managed them. You've managed them. This is looking into the shadow and embracing it and working with it and, and coming out of the shadow in this chariot energy. That's how you get to the chariot. That's how you find your balance and that's how you find your power. Without looking into the shadow, without managing your weaknesses, there's always some type of, of um, contingency or some type of area of um, where, where there could be um, a violation or where there could be um, permea permeation or some type of um, vulnerability. There's, there's really not a whole lot of vulnerability anymore um, because we have the Queen of Wands. This is a person who knows his or her own value, his or her own um, strengths and weaknesses, his or her own beauty, very sensual quality here with the Queen of Wands, very charming, very charismatic, um, very beautiful energy that you're, you're, you're in right now. As your, your situation here that uh, blocking and, and conflict and really not being able to move forward, that situation completely changes now. It completely changes. You learned a lot too. Um, we do have the Queen of Cups here. This is self-love. This is self-awareness. This is learning how to fill your own cup, learning how to listen to your own intuition, listen to what your own body is telling you, right? The Queen of Cups is a Pisces energy, um, a a Scorpio energy or a cancer energy. We have two cancer energies here then um, and the six of wands. So you're moving forward very strongly into the future in the next seven to 10 days, doing something that you possibly haven't done before or doing something where you're coming out into the community in a different way. People are, will be respecting you. People will be seeing you and you're going to be doing a good job. This is something that you possibly haven't done before. You're stepping up higher in the crowd. You're rising above the crowd. You're setting forth into a new frontier I mean, you feel very passionately about it. You're taking action, right? You, first of all, you went through a period of time of finding yourself, finding your beauty, re, being reconnected to that. There was some kind of major conflict here that created um, a, a, um, the judgment energy, huge changes in your life. And that took some time for you to get through that because you have the hermit. You probably went inside, you went into your cave, you went... Um, you stayed inside for a while and really dealt with this, um, with this energy and, and really in that time, really dug deep and learned a lot about yourself and came up out of that energy in the queen of cups energy. And that queen of cups energy is what connected you into this chariot energy, this new knight of cups. See, here's a queen of cups coming forward in the knight of cups. You're loving this situation. You might be scared, Right? You might be scared, but you're loving this situation. It's just what you need, Taurus. It's just what you need. It's just what you prayed for. It's just what you dreamed of. Right? It's just what you dreamed of. Maybe you've dreamed of it for a long time, Taurus, and never did you think that it would have happened. Never did you think it would happen. Maybe your confidence was so eroded that you thought that whatever this was would never apply to you, would never be open to you. And now it's opened. It's this queen of cups. It's a self-love, self-care, self-awareness that connected you in and you're loving this and you're taking action now. You're taking action now. 
You're going to have to disconnect from the past, though. And I think you are. I think as you move forward, you disconnect from the past. It's almost like the energy cords that are connected to you from the past, from this five of wands, the love that you have for yourself, the focus that you're putting on yourself right now is helping to break the energy cords of what's happened in the past. There was some major conflict here in the past, five energies, the forcing of a change in your life, wherever you were and whatever you were doing to us, it was not helpful for you because you have the devil energy here. It hurt you. It crippled you. It, it created a hesitation in your life now. And now you're having to break through that while having to break through those energies as you move into this beautiful new situation. All right. So what do we have here in the next coming week? You moving forward into this, into this opportunity, you moving forward in a new way in the community. And this is going to bring you rewards. You know, you're, you're being seen in a new way with the six of wands. You're absolutely being seen in a new way here. And people are happy for you. People are cheering you on. And this is well-deserved. This is well-deserved. Taurus, it's a short reading. It's, it's so clear. It's so powerful. <sighs> I am going to move now into the extended. I mean, I do feel like the energy is, is, um, is I feel good with the energy here. I'm going to move into the extended. We're going to dig deeper into some of these energies. And I'm going to take this out into the future and look at timing. All right, so I'm moving to the extended now, Taurus. This has been fun. This is exciting. I'm extremely excited, excited for you. I love the Eight of Wands and the Chariot are next to each other. Powerful movement. I love that this, this, I love to see this internal health. Well, you became healthy in the inside first, and now your outside world is going to replicate to that. It's going to match that. It's going to mirror that. And that's what's happening now. Your outside world is beginning to mirror the healing and the work that you've done internally. That's what's happening. All right, Taurus, fun reading, really fun reading, wishing you the best, truly am, moving to the extended now. Feel free um, to visit me there if you would like more information, the link's below. If you're happy with the reading as is, I'm happy too. So thank you very much, my beautiful friends. Congratulations. I want to say something like, go do this, or um, onward, my friends, onward, onward into success, my beautiful friends. <laughs>